They go on your back, please. Um, just uh, kind of. So anywhere, anywhere from anywhere. As soon as uh, as I pass the legs, I can hunt the, the, the grip. Yeah. It is a figure four grip from different positions. So again, it's not part of the guard, but you need to now start thinking. Once I'm using all this guard and I get sweeps and I start passing guards, and what am I going to do next? Am I going to do always the same, or is there anything else for me there? So um, uh, what I want, to, what I want to end up is here. Yeah, in this position. How I end up in those positions is many different ways. Usually, I get past the legs and I start moving quick, blah, 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 and then somehow I scramble out. I hunt it purposefully. Uh, because they think about all the other things. They think Kimura, they think Ambar, they will be hiding elbows. So I'll be moving, and usually I move around his head and, and I scoop uh, the elbow. So I'll start this way just because of that. Get it better. So I'm here, for example, and he's not giving me anything. He can't help me the armbar, he's hiding his elbows, I don't get anything. So what I do is I tend to block the hips and move around, stay heavy on him here, until I start scooping. If you come around this side, so I'm start scooping under his elbow. So he can frame, he can hide his elbow, whatever he does, eventually I'm, I'm going to get it. Can you see? I'm just scooping and I've got my chest to it. And then eventually I find the grip. I don't rush to get here. I make sure that I have, stay tight with your elbows. I make sure that I have something. So I use like almost like a knife, <laughs> pretty much. Keep it really tight, don't give me anything. So I use knife and I just scoop here and start lifting and then I, I drag in my fingers and pull through. Does that make sense? So I'm looking for this and that it's, it's gonna happen for you from all sorts of angles and messy situations, yeah? The idea is not, uh, not about step by step how I'm gonna get there. The idea is I'm gonna end up here sooner or later. Some people are super good at defending it and it takes me ages to get to that grip. And some people think about everything else and they kind of frame against me, which means that they're kind of give it to me. So for example, let's say I pass his guard and then I arrive somewhere on the side, he's trying to move away and I'm, ho I'm hooking in and he's, yeah, what he's trying to do is trying to put his elbow to the floor, can you see? So that's the first fight I'm gonna have to do with him once I pass to that position. I'm gonna be behind him and as he's trying to put his elbow to the floor, look, I'm, high, I'm, I'm lifting it off the floor. I'm just scooping. I'm winning the first battle that I need to be winning. And if I can get here, great. That's where I want to be in the end. If he brings his uh, elbow to the floor, I lose. Look. Yeah, I lose this one. Get your elbow up. I'm constantly there, just looking for those little hooks. Does that make sense? So this is just to open your mind at the moment that it's not going to be right. Step one. Time. It's going to be messy, you're going to move around, but you're going to catch eventually. So what I want to do is a little exercise. Let's walk over here one more time so I can use the other hand. So we're going to start here, and I'm going to do this with my feet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not there, no gaps. The, 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 the bottom foot is going to align, and this one I'm just going to be here. I can be here. We start here. Now, his job is, or his chances of both were either way. Move away. Uh, run away, run away, and I nip onto your fours, and I might lose, and if, he, if I stay here and he traps my wrist, he can roll over, and then I'm going. Yeah, makes sense? So I need to be aware of that as well. So if his initial reaction is to move away, and yeah, move away, move away, as soon as he can, I'm going to be bringing it in to me. Yeah? His other option to escape is the elbow to the floor. So as soon as, a lot of people who are good at defending this, they know. So as soon as I scoop, yeah, they just bring the elbow back down, yeah? If I manage to get to this position and I lock myself behind him, if, if he's trying to put his elbow down, I straighten my arm. I point his elbow to his face, always. Yeah, turn to me. Turn as much as you can. Fight, turn to turn. He's never going to go. But what he's going to do, he's going to he's gonna try to go away to me, away to me. And I have to be ready to bring him back when he goes away and point his elbow to his face when he comes to me. So we start here. Let's go. Let's get That's what I'm looking for, yeah? Makes sense? So let's play this game first. The person, you just have to stay here, so you get the best position you can, and you have to stay here. The person on, um, on bottom has to either turn the elbow, if you lose the elbow, they win, you reset, or if they go on to all the fours and then you lose the grip because you have to base, you also lose, yeah? Makes sense? So let's do that first.